hey there everyone today we are going to learn about Linux command uh, which is for beginner uh, I'm using Kali Linux so if you are using Parrot OS or Ubuntu the command will be the same so you can use either Parrot OS or Ubuntu you can use these are the same commands the very initial step in using Linux is to open the terminal which is the command line interface you will find the icon for the terminal on the desktop you can click on the icon or just press ctrl alt t to open the terminal this command line environment known as the shell which enables you to run commands on the underlying operating systems and write scripts although linux has many different shell environments the most popular is the bash shell which is also the default shell in kali to begin let's look at some basic commands that will help you catch up and running in linux the very first command we will learn is pwd which is finding yourself i mean the command line in linux does not always make it apparent which directory you are in presently uh, to navigate to a new directory you usually need to know where you are currently the present working directory command is help you to find out your location enter pwd in your terminal to see where you are pwd command it shows me I'm logged in as a ET user and currently I am in a home directory. First, let me increase the size of the font. Uh, if you like a bigger font, you can increase the size by pressing Ctrl and plus sign. Or to reduce it, you can press Ctrl and minus sign on your keyboard. Or you can just simply do right click on the terminal and click on zoom in or zoom out to see the content of directory we can use the list command which is ls this is very similar to the dir command in windows by pressing ls command it shows us what are the files what are the subdirectories we have let's check this you can also use this command on any particular directory not just the one you are currently in by listing the directory name after the command uh, for example you can type ls space forward slash and write the directory name it shows the uh, file directory and subdirectories to get more information about the files and directories such as their permissions owner size and when they were last modified you can use ls space test l command it shows all the extra information to see hidden files in a particular directory or subdirectory uh, you can use uh, this command which is ls space dash a a means all it contains hidden file as well so here as you can see uh, all the files starts with dot these are the hidden files so you can use this command to see hidden files uh, let me clear the terminal first uh, you can clear the terminal by pressing Ctrl Shift and X key. Now, if I want to change directories from the terminal, we use change directory command uh, that is cd. First, let's see what are the directories we have here by typing ls command. So it shows us uh, we have directories desktop, documents, downloads music and uh, others right so i will use cd command to get into desktop 
right we are now in a desktop uh, directory let's uh, check it by uh, using pwt command so here you can see we are in a desktop directory to move up one level from desktop to the root directory we use cd command followed by dot dot after finding the directories and files you are looking for you may need to carry out several operations on them now we are going to learn the creation of directories and files copy files rename files plus delete the files and directories there are many ways to create files in linux but uh, for now we will look at two simple methods the first is touch command now let's create a file using touch command so i will type touch space new file which is a file name you can uh, you can give whatever name you like now let's check uh, whether our file is created or not by tapping ls command so here yeah our file is uh, created as you can see there is a new file on the desktop the second command to create a file is get which is short for concatenate the get command is generally used for displaying the content of a file but it can also be used to create small files for creating bigger files it's better to enter the code in a text editor such as vim leafpaid or ga now uh, let's create a file using cat command so i will type cat space greater than sign give a file name after hit the enter button uh, you can type whatever you want to type i will type just hello world and uh, you can save it by ctrl z press enter now let's check our file is uh, created or not uh, by checking the ls command so here you can see there is two file new file and new file 2 so this is how you can create two file i mean uh, this is how you create files using cat command and uh, touch command also now uh, here let me clear one more thing uh, you can check uh, file content by using the cat command as i told you before so we'll check that uh, right now uh, i will type cat space file name which is new file and as you can see here it shows us file content which is hello world we just made that file now let's move on to another command command for creating a directory in linux is mkdir a contraction of a make directory to create a directory named any any name whatever you like uh, just enter the following command type mkdir space give a directory name whichever you like and now let's check uh, the directory is created or not by using ls command as you can see here we have now two files and one directory ag is a directory new file and new file 2 now that uh, we have learned how to create a directory and how to create another file it's time to learn how to remove a file You can remove a file by using rm command just type rm space and give the file name which you want to delete here i'm going to remove a new file so let's check whether is it uh, deleted or not by typing ls command 
as you can see the file is deleted there is only one file left on the desktop and one directory so far we have learned how to create a file how to create a directory and how to remove a file so now let me show you how to remove a directory first let me create a file in a directory so I will I will change directory by typing cd space ag and here I will create a file using touch command so I will type touch space test one file now let me exit from uh, ag directory to remove a directory the command is rm tir space I will give directory name which is ag when I hit the enter button it says fail to remove because directory is not empty uh, we just created a file in the directory so it stops you to remove a directory until uh, it, uh, it is not empty so first uh, we have to remove a file from directory and then we can remove a directory so if you are sure that the file which is in directory is not important to you you can you can use uh, this command which is rm space hyphen r and directory name so it will delete directory and the files within the directory now let's check uh, our directory is deleted or not as usual just type ls and yep here you can see there is uh, no ag directory it has been deleted the next command is move command to move a file from one directory to another directory you can use move command so already I have created eg directory again so I will I will transfer new file from desktop to eg directory so I just type simply mv file name which is new file and the directory name which is ag after after typing this command let's check the new file has moved or not by using ls command here you can see there is only test file left so let's check in the ag directory i will type cd space directory name and then i will type ls command to check uh, the content of the directory so yeah here here our new file so yeah this is how you can move a file from one directory to another directory now let's learn how to rename a file unfortunately uh, linux doesn't have a command intended solely for renaming a file as windows and some other operating systems too but it does have the move command so you can use the move command again to rename the file i'll show you uh, how to use the move command to rename a file you just type mv space the file name which you want to rename space then give the name whichever you want to uh, give the name so i will rename the test file to test123 okay let's check uh, our uh, file is renamed or not by typing ls command as you can see here our file which was a test before now it has been changed to test123 so if you want to rename a file in linux you can use mv command now uh, next we will learn 
how to copy a file. To copy a file, we use cp command. In a desktop directory, I have two files, a new file 2 and a test file. So in new file, I have written hello world. Uh, I will copy this file to the test file. So I will simply type cp space new file space test. Then hit enter button. Now let's check uh, uh, our test file. Is it uh, copied or not? By using the cat command. So I will type cat space test. All right. Uh, here you can see hello world is copied from uh, new file to test file. So this is how you can uh, use copy command okay so okay so that's uh, that's the end of the video uh, we have learned today how to create a file how to create a directory how to change directory how to remove files how to remove uh, directories so yeah in future i will upload uh, more videos like this so thank you very much for watching my videos uh, if you like this videos just uh, give a like button and uh, please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you very much